Uh, hello, welcome back to part two uh, of the second session of Hit the Streets, uh, Defend the Block, Lower Park. Um, for the details, see part one. We had a technical difficulty uh, earlier, so we, we've come back using a different, uh, a different setup. So we're hoping to play through the last, uh, last 50 minutes or so of this session without technical hiccup. Our fingers are crossed. So uh, we left part one. Um, it's like turning the page in your comic and finding they didn't pr print the back panel. Um, so we, we left that with uh, Shadur and Blink having had a, a conversation about whether this was about, you know, just a kind of almost fatherly conversation from, from, from Theo uh, to Shadur. Uh, but you are at uh, Mike Donner's, uh, Mike Dubon's uh, apartment building. It's, a, it's a, an old brownstone, two brownstones knocked into one. Uh, one of the doors is boarded up. The other one has a, a, a list of apartment numbers. And his is the top floor apartment. Um, the attics of both the houses knocked together would be your guess. Uh, and my question was, you know, there's a little camera and a microphone for you to speak into. What happens next, Blink? I've got you at the door. Yeah, so I think I'm you know, reaching out a gloved hand to, to ring that doorbell, that top apartment. Look, push the hand away and go, whoa! When, when I said we're going to go in as, you know, our you know, mass identity selves, probably not through the front door like we're frigging Uber Eats delivery drivers. Oh, you meant we were going to break into his apartment? Because that's what I asked. Are we going to appear in his place? You said just walk in. I didn't know you meant uh, let's, uh, <clears throat> let, let's give uh, old man, uh, the old man of the group, a heart attack, you know? What, what will uh... okay, let's, uh, let's, let's figure out if he's in there and what he's doing first. And uh, I think uh, Shadow will pull out a set of makeshift uh, um, deep vision binoculars, and um, they're like a normal set of binoculars, which we wired up and obviously made with like a, a Raspberry Pi board and stuff on them. And they're like, let's get up to the, the roof. <clears throat> They've got the penthouse apartment. Well, how about then? I just look in there's just a moment of looking slightly crestfallen because you've got this really cool gadget and and you didn't call it yeah, out want to so no, bring put it back, super in, put it back in his put it back into the uh the, the, the bag going, yeah i suppose we could do that as well yeah you're not mabel pines this is not gravity falls we're superheroes so what do you do blink so i just look up and then you know my 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 consciousness just like propels itself into the top floor apartment. Uh, now, I think to, the way we played look this uh, was that uh, the other side of that door is easy, and then the further away it is, the more difficult. So I think I'm going to make this uh, yeah. the challenge of this. The difficulty of this is going to be three, I think, um, and it might be okay. four, depending on what you want to do. If you just want to kind of uh, get a sense of of you know what you can see fine if you want to do any more than that i'd increase the difficulty to four because it's five floors up yeah I, I think we're trying to establish that he is in there right that's our fine fine so it's relatively straightforward mm -hmm. uh, so i think difficulty is three um you are being super um you are using it's an interesting question isn't it what are you using You tell me. I think last time we had done this, it was head. Yeah, fair enough. Go with head. Mm. Um, and you are using your power, so that's plus 2D. So that's four okay, dice so looking for two successes. Uh, let me clear. Um, I will tilt the odds by spending one spark. Okay, five dice, two successes. <laughs> okay, so that's one four and four threes. Okay, 
so so that is plenty of successes um inside no, just one right it's four plus right oh no no success is three four uh, four five six and it's the number of those okay but i i got one four and four threes oh i beg you sorry sorry um it's odd i can't see these dice at all um uh roll not even I, if I, would, I would tell a much better lie if I no, no 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 that's fine no it's it's, it's just i'm used to looking at them and and, yeah. and not having to listen carefully so sure. um so right so one success that's a failure um from where you from from kind of looking in through the window up there he's not in the room you look into you would have to extend your consciousness further i.e difficulty would be four to go again okay. so yeah i will make a disgruntled noise uh, and um you know kind of i don't know give give uh shadow like a, a friendly nudge and say well let's try it your way because he is not anywhere i can see him okay shad so i think you are being super uh you are certainly using your gadgetry power and you're using tools i think yeah yeah we, we reframe on the building across the street uh shadow with these uh, uh um goggles up to uh, their mask do, do, do. so that'll be six seven eight i am i being daredevilly I don't think so particularly. You're you're you know, you if if you'd run no, up there I'm, and done I'm it. Scouting anyway. out before we get in. Yeah. yeah what what kind of wild you. wild one are you? Um so I think I'm looking probably for three successes because we know he's not in the in the room at the front of the building. So you're gonna have to try and tune these to get through at least one partition mm -hmm. wall. Boom. Uh so one six Three fives, two fours, two ones. So I'll take the oof, two points of oof, but everything else is a success. I think that probably fictionally, there's there's just a kind of, you know, there's that headachey eye strain. Uh, this is not a very sophisticated piece of kit. Um, but you do succeed and you can see some, a prone, somebody prone, in the back room um and they are not as warm as you would expect i just think this this no, that's now when it kicks in there's no there's just sort of i go shit they're in trouble and that will come out the grappling gun which is firing through the uh, the penthouse window um and uh will run across <laughs> leaving uh leaving blink uh well, well i think blink I think might blink. be faster to get up there yeah you know when he goes ghost form. So don't explain. they don't explain, they just sort of shoot the uh, uh, gun. Okay, so I think that that's, uh, I'm not gonna make you roll for that because I think that, that that's just too cool not to happen. And likewise, I don't have a problem with, uh, with Blink just kind of, you know, going through the door and, and almost floating up through the ceiling until he gets there. Um, and so I think that we'll probably have Shadow, you know, swinging through the, uh, through the window that's just shattered, um, setting the building alarm off um, as Blink materializes in the same room. So you're both in the front room. There is a door ajar to the back room. What do you do? I think this is probably on shadow because she knows where he is. I'm going to be following her lead. So shadow, what do you do? Oh, straight into the room. Um, not really checking for danger either. I think at this point. Um, I think I need shadow shadow to roll for heart roll with heart. 
Is this super or normal? What am I rolling? I think this is normal. So uh, I'll be rolling four dice for this, and, but I would like to connect I that I, I've, I've been a bit... Difficulty is three. Oh, I'd like to argue that I should get my hot-headed uh, Daredevil dice for okay. this, or just yeah, come screaming you, across you the building in. and in. Yeah, 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 with with never fearing to tread. Uh, whereas roll for my party. Gone. Uh, eh, looks like my tab was just closed. Can someone re... I've got it. It's all right. You all right? Uh, yeah. Uh. So, uh, five dice. Ah, that's a six, a five, two fours, and a two. The magenta dice smile upon me tonight. So, so that is the four successes. Uh, that's that's success. You do not lose the contents of your stomach when you see your first dead body. Um, uh, Mike Dubon is lying on his bed, um, clearly showing signs of a drug overdose. <laughs> My guess is there's a slight pause after the door crashes open, Blink. What do you do in that pause? So I guess I'm following her, and as soon as I see that, um, and as soon as I'm satisfied that he is dead, yeah. I'm just grabbing Shadow, and like we are, we are leaving. There's the alarm is gone. The people who need to be here are going to be here. Uh, we need I'm to gonna... leave an anonymous tip for the outside. We will, but I'm, I'm going to take some. Uh... Oh, I'm going to scan the room before I'm allowed to be pulled out to take some photos of the room anyway. Uh, like, um, you know, probably with a video camera uh, on the phone, just sort of zooming it around to take things. Um, and then look to see if there's anything out of the place here, I suppose, just before I'm pulled out. Um, I think it's fair to say that... I, th I think there are two glasses beside the bed. It, it is clear that he was not alone. But I think that's all you'll get until you have a good look at the camera footage later. How are you going to get out? Because you, you have the, um, the grappling wire running to the opposite building. Uh. I think, yeah, we have that, but she'll she'll uh, she'll leap out uh, and sort of unhook the wire as she's leaping out, uh, swings down across the window, and runs back up and off over the rooftops. Yeah, um, in in that Spider-Man defying physics kind of way. I think you are being super, um, so roll to be super, please. Uh, using, I think this probably is feet about escaping. Yeah. To be honest. Uh, I would like once again to say this is a, a, a wild one sort of uh, move. Um, yeah, okay, I'll give you, you the benefit no. of the doubt. If you don't feel so, that's that's no, fine. No, 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 go, go with it, go with it. So, Leaving Blink to find his own way the... home. <laughs> uh, all right, so hold on a minute, I'm going to dice some again. That is three, four, five, six dice. Um, and I think difficulty is three, because this is quite dis disconcerting. Okay. Uh, a six, five, two fours, and two threes. You know this bad luck can dose him on Tuesday night. Are you sure it's just not Leandro? <laughs> well, no, hang on. That is four successes. Yeah. You know, what do you want, blood? Uh, <laughs> So, um, yeah, it disappears. Blink, how are you going to get home? Um, well, I guess I'm going to exit pretty much the same way I came in. Fine. Uh, and then just um, maybe I'm making sure from like a, a vantage point around the corner that, you know, the alarm isn't just um, 
turned off or whatever as, as alarms often are i'm just going to make sure that uh, someone discovers them and that there's some emergency response uh you have to wait quite a while uh we know gcpd don't don't spend a a, a lot of time in lower park uh and so it's probably people gathering in the street you know windows going up opposite um and and finally uh after about 45 minutes uh a patrol car will appear uh and then shortly after that the medical examiner the ambulance yeah 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 so i think as soon as the the squad car appears like I, i'm i'm turning to walk walk back home okay um well then let's cut to the following morning with uh, Robert uh, delivering those uh, that plan for the flyer um, and uh, Hotwire, you know, handing over the overalls, the coveralls. Um, and I think probably we, we then cut to Robert appearing, uh, coming around the corner and seeing these kind of, this, this uh, very, you know, it's, it's, it's it's showing scenes of what Lower Park could look like, um, uh, and uh, and there's a gate, uh, and there's a guy in a hard hat. What do you do, Robert? What does he look like? Is he uh, somebody from around here, or is he like uh, some fancy ass supervisor? Oh, he's certainly a fancy ass supervisor. Yeah, uh, wow. you know, he probably has a collar and tie on. He's probably uh, the surveyor. Uh, in charge of the site or something like that. Good morning, mister. Um, that's quite a big construction site you got there. Um, you sure you don't need another hand? Uh, you, you've done this kind of work before, kid? Well, there's no other work to do for somebody like me around here. Um, and I'm showing my tattooed uh, hands. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, we can, we can do that. Um, uh, yeah, just, uh, the Jimmy over there needs somebody to carry his stuff. Uh, minimum wage, you understand? Yeah, sure. Always the same. And I, I don't know, I can't, it's, n it's not your fault. Um, it's the big ones that always try to keep us poor, but I, I, I really appreciate the job like you you're really helping me out well Thanks, look you've man. got one day on the site if it doesn't work out don't come back tomorrow yeah you don't have to worry i'm 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 really a tough one i'm i'm working hard um yeah thanks again man really appreciate it um hot wire what are you going to do with the morning are you going back to the the school um fire escapes I mean, I, I, I like like. Did I recognize either of those kids from last night? Do you know you've been thinking about this and and not the one with the bag where most of your attention was, but the yeah. other kid. That could have been the jock from the party. Hmm. And now you come, hmm. you know, now you really think about it. The light, the yeah. light at the back of your building is not great, but they, they both had, they both had what was left of some, you know, indelible paint. Oh, okay. All right. Um, Yeah, then I think I'm going to have to um I'm going to have to go down to um the the court where I know they all play pickup ball with each other. Okay. Um uh which is probably just around the corner from the school. Yeah. yeah. So you're going to yeah, get sure. there before school starts because yep. this mm -hmm. has to be early, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um and uh, yeah, they're, they're all there. I mean, we, we never quite specified, I think, what these jocks did, but we could very well have them as basketball players and they're just, you know, shooting, sure. shooting hoops. Yeah. Um, 
and uh, yeah, there's there's the kid. All right. Um, uh, and so I'm just gonna like um, walk up and just kind of do that thing where I just sort of lean in the you know in the doorway to the like to like 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 the opening of the fence or whatever. And at some point, um, uh, at some point, like like somebody will miss a pass or miss a shot, and it'll bounce and come over to me. Um, uh, and I'll just kind of hold the ball and look at the, just just look the kid in the eye. What are you? What are you trying? What, what's what's your intent here? What's a good outcome for this look like for you? And I'm and and I say, um, and I kind of look at him and I go, um, if you're gonna get any good at this, you should spend all your time practicing. Uh, cause. Um, there's, there's no future in, in what you were doing last night. Um, I think that this is certainly jaw at work. I think you're being normal. Yeah. Um, or maybe it's, maybe it's heart. Maybe it's heart actually. Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is this is like this is basically charity work here. All, it is all, like borderline I, charity work. I, um, I think I feel like this is using my role as the glue. Yes, I think it is, um, and I'm prepared to treat this as charity work. Oh. Oh. So, okay. So so I think that you are rolling normal plus heart. Uh, I will put glue in there. Three plus two for five. Uh, for two successes is is okay. All I'm looking for. And let me go five. Uh, that's what I got is two successes. So you get a point of spark back. Cool. And and I and I I um uh and I take the and I kind of like and I've got the ball and I say um and I kind of say if you go in um uh, you're not going to be any good at this. And I just kind of, you know, like, like do one of these and like loft a shot and whatever, you know, it bangs off the rim. Yeah. If you've got a six in there somewhere, I'd have given you that. No, um, no. Like, like I, 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 I actually, even if I could have sunk the shot, I don't, I'm like, don't, don't basically don't be me kid. And, and there's, he doesn't say anything, but there's, you know. And I look at him and I kind of look at him and I say, um, you know, basically next time I talk to your, like, you know, next time I talk to your grandma, um, I hope I can tell her that you're, 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 you're here. And I think that Mario Rodriguez hears that. Yeah. Um, blink. I just want uh, a feel for what Theo is doing today. Do you do you get in touch with Shadow? What you know, because you had this kind of this this happened. You know. Yeah, I think. Um... You know, like leave her a message on whatever group chat they have. Um, you know, like she just ran and I don't know whether Dave, you want to have her, had her contact him in any way that night, nice. but either way, I think he's just kind of trying to check in with her. I think she'll just text back or they'll text back. I'm fine. It's not my first dead body. <laughs> uh, 
Well, I but, guess it's worse. She could have been yeah. just fine. I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, Ver- Veronica, Veronica is not fine, <laughs> but uh, Shadow is, is is putting is putting the. Uh, I think we sort of see that being taxied back, and that shot would have been her uh, with like uh, you know this black mascara down her face, tight, you know, in, in the out of outfit, crying, uh, and, and it's clearly the sign of a scared teenager uh, who's who's got into too much uh, deep shit too quick. Um, Robert, you've got on the site. I'm curious to know what you're going to do with this day you have on site. Because, look, I'll be honest with you, this isn't your kind of work. The chances of you coming back tomorrow are small, you know, and I think we'll yeah. we'll see a little montage of, of you dropping hammers from the third floor um, and, uh, you know, and, and stuff. And, and the guy I... saying, no, the three-quarter inch spanner. Um, well, I, I I think I'm kind of even capable, but I I'm just hanging most time on, on on my smartphone, and I'm like just from random angles I'm just um, texting pictures from from the the colorful um, ballroom we left the other night, um, and it's looking quite uh, artsy I guess, um, but I I want to I want to make sure that um, Shedder um sees uh what what her painted tag did with the place um because i think it looks kind of real cool and it's and it, and it fits real well uh into the district um and apart from that i'm trying to chat to to random people um if if they know like hey that that's a that's a big ass construct construction site like um that there, there needs to be a big company behind all this um and then just ask if they have seen any people in suits running around here or. Okay. Um, I think that apart from the guy who's running the site, I don't think so. Um, okay. But, uh, but certainly you're texting those, 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 um, uh, those pictures. There's one bit of the of, of the floor uh, that is interesting, because where the where the where the paint bombs went off, you know, there's there's um, stuff on all the walls and all the surfaces, pretty much. Um, but you know that, that there was that kind of raised platform where um, the the folks in 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 black suits were. Um, yeah. There's an oval on the floor which is absolutely clean. Mm -hmm. Might that have been the portal? Exactly so. So the, the, the paint that would have hit that floor instead hit the portal. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, Shadur, you are, um, you've got all these photographs, this video from, from, uh, Dubon's apartment. Um, it's a school day, so we see you in the halls of the, uh, you know, in the halls of school. How do you, you know, are, are you still looking upset or are you holding it together? And what are you going to do with the morning? Uh, the morning, she, she's she's gone to school. Whatever her thought was to analyze that video. She, she's just not up to it right she that that's that film is is locked with her kit away she's she put it in a box and locked the door on it for a bit and yeah she's definitely still doesn't lock herself she, she's more withdrawn uh, and upset and what's your what's the quiet. name of your best friend uh, uh, let's Say it's uh, let's say it's uh, Camilla. Camilla, what do you tell Camilla when she says, what, What's up, Ronnie? Um, it's um, no, it's 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 yeah, I um. Has this made the news, by the way? Has... I was 
because you're not she, she says did did you know him because she's seen it on the news i don't you've been in a condition to look but oh, she's seen I, the social yeah. media and uh the the death of uh local celebrity mike dubon uh as a result of a drug overdose uh is is indeed in the news and and she's she's kind of associating your mood with that you know but did, yeah. did, i didn't know you knew him so i i, I just really like his his music his, his skills right he was he was like not many of us make it out of here he was you know he made it and the first thing he does he ends up pumping himself full of that shit and ends up dead no one's ever going to get out of this place this is is all it is now some of that is true i think you are upset by what's happened to mm -hmm. him but i don't think all of it is true is it because i what i no. want to do is to determine how much of what you're saying or whether she is suspicious that there's more to this so i think this is being normal with jaw mm -hmm. and to a difficulty of two well, this is not going to go well because I've only got two in uh, that. So um, I think it's time to roll. But uh, let's. Oh, a difficulty of two, did you say? Yes. So that's two successes then. Yeah. Um, so I'm I'm seeing one. Am I right? I've got a two and a five. Oh no, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. One success. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Because yeah. you want two two successes it, above three. Got you. Sorry. It's yeah. Yeah. One success. Unintuitive. I know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so uh, Camilla, kind of, we see her looking slightly right, raised eyebrow at you, and a bubble saying. This is weird. Something's up. Dot dot dot. Um, and I think that may be the last thing we see in the panel before uh, you get the text, the 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 shot of uh, that bear patch in the in in the ballroom that uh, that Robert has sent you. And you suddenly think of something that you noticed in Dubon's apartment. Somebody thrown a drink, but there was a patch of the wall where the splashes just stopped. And that I think is where we'll close the issue. Okay. Um, uh, I will now remember to do the end of session. Um, so let me find the questions. Here we go. Yes. Um, so at the end of every issue, the entire table should discuss the following questions. Did you clash with someone who threatened your neighborhood? Go on, Jim, tell us, tell us what you're pitching. See if people nod and smile. Yeah, I mean, I think we're, I mean, beyond individually, um, I mean, I, I, like, like, we are up against whoever it is. Um, I mean, whoever murdered uh, our DJ friend, we're, we're now, I feel like we're now, like, engaged with them. We are actually, like, going at them. I, I think I'd like to set, suggest that you protected the citizens. You are in the process of seeking to protect them. I'm not yet certain you've clashed. Oh, okay. Is that fair? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So that's one. Uh, I, hold on. I'd, I'd oh, like to, to argue. We, 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 we have on a number of numerous fronts connected them to, to the shady shit going down. Yeah. But yeah, but, but like, yeah. like, and we're 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 poking Clash. around the edges. The word, yeah, that's why right. Clash. Yeah. Right. If if we're, if it is directly uh, confronted, yeah, then then no. Uh, uh, yeah, we're poking around the edges of it right now, but we haven't. Sure. We're, we're not at loggerheads yet. So. Um, no problem. I tell you what. I, I'm the third one is: Did you defeat a villain or have a conflict with your with with the threat? That's not true. 
I think though, I am going to give you one for Clash, because if nothing else, I think, Hotwire clashed with a social ill. Yeah. Yeah, that those, threatened those the neighborhood. Kids. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 Um, oh, oh, um, okay. So if any one of us does it, then it kind of I, I, counts I for think all I want to. Yeah. I want to cast this net as widely as I can. Well, that's fantastic because then it encourages people to go on patrol and stuff like that and everything. Precisely. Yeah. Precisely. Um, and uh, so I think we'll 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 have two in play for that. Uh, so everybody gets two, and then uh, let me work around the screen as I see you. Um, Donna, did, did Theo sl slash Blink struggle with his normal day-to-day -day obligations? Um, I think so. Um, I mean, he, he's probably abusing his job to, f to, to track down the okay. villain, right? Yeah, yeah, I go with that. Um, what about uh, Hotwire? Did Hotwire struggle with his normal day-to-day -day obligations? I had like the most like wonderfully cliched classic struggle with my obligations, which is a relative saying to me, we can't take, keep taking these jobs for free. <laughs> Your good heart's going to get us in trouble. And so, yeah, I think that's absolutely. Yeah, I think you've got one as well. Um, what about Shadow? Struggle with your normal day-to-day -day obligations? Uh, well, yeah, uh, with, um, with with Mario, the b-ball player, and with um, Molly, uh, Camilla. best friend, Camilla, right? Yeah, Get Camilla into the yeah absolutely. I give you one for that. Um, Robert, I think yours is the most obvious one. Um, yeah. Because you actually lost a job. <laughs> Did you this. fuck up any of your day-to-day -day obligations? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so you get one as well. The second question, I'll keep going round. Uh, Theo Blink, did you support another teammate when they needed you? Um, well, I tried to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I think, you know, you did. Yeah. I, you know, I think you tried to support. I, I mean, maybe to, to forewarn the next issue thing, you know, Theo will be sending a uh, hot wire text or meeting up with him and say, you know, remember we said last episode, you know, we don't pry into Shadow's private life. She wants to keep that cool. But I think Theo wants to break that seal because he is worried about her. Um, okay. So, well, we, we, we'll come to wishes in a moment, but I, yeah, I, yeah. Think, I think that one is worth thinking about. Uh, Jim, what about hot wire? Did you support another teammate when they needed you? I like, I, I know because I went to someone else for help and not the other way around. I mean, un unless my advice, like, unless my, you know, don't get mixed up in B and E counts as like, um, but I don't, I don't think so. That was, we were just kind of shooting the breeze that like, like I didn't really have a situation where, People were like, you know, oh my God, what do I do? So I, I think if Shadu had not ended up breaking and entering, <laughs> that would have ticked the box. Yeah, yeah? Sure. Yep. that's going to be a tough hill to climb. Yeah, um, no, it'll, it, it'll happen. Dave, did did Shadu support another teammate when they needed you? I've got one thing in my mind. Coffee. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I brought, yeah I, I brought the coffee. I suppose otherwise. Yeah, but also uh, it was. I think he, she was a, a a problem more than a benefit uh, tonight. So if you want to give him a coffee, yes. But I think she was uh, damn uh, damn um, um, uh, unsupportive and was not listening to uh, Hot Wire. Uh, or but that coffee was that coffee was dearly needed because I had to walk through all night yeah. to get that flyer done. Okay. Yeah. Um, it, it it fueled Robert to work really hard on stuff he shouldn't mm -hmm. have been doing. Um, sure. Uh, and finally, Robert, did 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 you support another teammate when they needed you? Hell yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think so. The, okay. the flyer thing that was uh, hopefully real helpful. Oh yeah, I'm sure it's going to make a hell of a difference. Um, so uh, you've all notched up some some XP. You might now have enough to to spend. So think about that between now and next week. Uh, before I finish the recording, I would like a quick round of stars and wishes, please. Um, 
can I first offer a star to Donna uh, for persevering when the technology was being a real pain in the ass? So thank you, Donna. You know, a lesser man would have just given up. Um, but let me let me go around the other way. Start with uh, start with Mario. Any stars? Uh, yeah, I, I think we had we had a, a a whole bunch of real wonderful scenes that framed the dynamic uh, within the team, and uh, yeah, every everybody was sort of felt more more outgoing this time, and I and I have a a much more clearer picture of our characters than I had last time. So I think everybody had just wonderful, real personal highlights. Yeah, no, I, I'd absolutely endorse that. Because um, you, you'd wanted a bit more time to breathe. Last time was character generation, then bang. So I hope this felt a little bit more spacious. Um, uh, uh, moving round, uh, Dave, any, any stars? Uh, a call out to everyone i uh, uh, uh enjoyed extremely hot wire trying to be uh the grown-up voice of the party and then taking that out into the community uh the uh i enjoyed uh, young void um um really trying to uh be a grown-up but failing and being a, a easily distractible superhero just because he got given a double espresso <laughs> Uh, and, and Blink leading out into uh, um, uh, Shadow at the end of, of, of the session um, and with the super spidey sense tingling around that. And um, Alan, your, your pacing and, and some of your description was uh, lovely tonight. And I think that kept the energy and the movement up in the game as well. Oh, thank you for that. Um, yeah, I'd endorse all of those. Uh, lot, lot of the really nice interactions. Um, and, it, and it was great, Jim, to see Hotwire this is not a personality who just exists in the team. That was really cool. And, and likewise, Donna trying to be that, you know, trying to be the grown up, to be the, the, the leader, to offer an example. Yeah, it was cool. Um, uh, moving on, Jim. Oh, I gotta give a start to David for like, oh my God, that guy is such an asshole. I can't believe he's not gonna ask me to the prom. You know, which is just like such a such a teenager thing. And so and like I'm looking forward to um that like it can be like when you're all playing teenagers, it's fun because you're all having angst and you're all like, you know, whatever, who likes who and who's kissing who and stuff like that. But when you have a like a team that's got like different ages, mm -hmm. the like the valence that different problems have for different team members is a thing that can be a lot of fun that can you know that you can look at like you know um uh like i can't imagine like a single dance consuming any significant amount of my attention right you know whatever it'd be nice to go on a date but i'm really not worried about that you know in exactly the same way that i'm sure shadow is not like you know if we don't get some customers, we're going to have to go out of business kind of thing like that. And just the, the, you know, us giving each other advice on stuff that we're not actually worried about is going to be because, because we're not worried about it ourselves. No, it's going I to think, be a lot. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think you're right. I think what, what I'm at one point, I think Dave, you put in the chat, uh, you know, oh God, I miss, you know, shift my labels. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but actually, I think the fact that you're not all angsty teens is is quite nicely different in this setup. I'm yeah, enjoying yeah, it as well. Great. Interesting um, balance, yeah. Donna, any 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 stars? Um, yeah, I really, uh, Mario, I really like the way, you know, you approach that problem with, you know, hey, we're doing this superhero thing and I am just completely ignoring my my real world problems um like com completely you know shafting yourself uh, on that front um really good to see um uh jim i think that kind of mama bear uh hot wire feeling i just love um and, and i think just like alan said it's it's not just in costume it is it's like all, all, all the layers, all the way down, right? Um, and Dave, yeah, I think the the, the kind of bratty, gung ho, 
Shadow is is really cool to see, and uh, I really liked our scene together. Uh, the the Big Brother advice not landing at all is even more fun, you know. Yeah, uh, yes, I, 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 you know, I just thought you really began all of you to shape the characters, uh, you know, in a way that in you know half a session last time we couldn't possibly get there. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, I'll go back round and I will ask for any wishes, particularly for next time. Uh, Mario, wishes? Nothing really. Um, maybe uh, one or two description how uh, Shadow's uh, graffiti art changes the, uh, our community over the course of the game. So just just some little phrases. Oh, that that we come across a house and now it's it's totally covered in, in a huge ass graffiti or something like that. Oh, that that that's cool. Yeah, you know, having having not just seen her first dead body, how will yeah. how will her graffiti <laughs> change? Yeah, I think that's quite interesting. Uh, Dave, any wishes? Um. I suppose it's slightly selfish one. It's, it's a lean into the, uh, and the and the bleed between um, uh, Shadow and Veronica's uh, conflicting lives, I suppose, um, and how it affects the, this this trouble, how it affects and sort of divides our community as well. Because I'm sure some people are going, "Yeah, this is going to be awesome." Um, yeah, choose a side. Time. Fine. Yeah. No, that's a neat idea. Uh, Okay, uh, Jim, wishes? I am, I, I can do one session of it, but I am ready to be done with the procedural um, and, and get into some, like you say, like actual conflict. Um, you know, whether it's in the streets, in the courtroom, in the boardroom, whatever, but to, like, like the, the kind of like we had the session where we're dancing around each other, doing a little bit of investigation and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm ready for it to, you know, for us to have a, like an all action issue. Yeah, you're, you're looking for that clash. Yes, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm ready for the clash. And okay. I also, I also definitely want to see, um, like, how it affects folks in the neighborhood as it's going on. Ah, uh, right, yeah. For sure. I, w I want us to maybe meet, a, maybe we can name a few NPCs that get affected by it. Okay. Okay. Um, and Donna, wishes? Uh, yeah, to again to echo Jim, the answer to that clash question next week had better be hell yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, and I guess um, having kind of said it already, yeah, I would like to see if we can, if, if, if we're going to see a bit of bleed from her superhero life into her real life, then is there going to be some kind of vice versa for, for Shadow? Okay. Well, I think, I think I can give you the space for that, Dave, but I'm going to leave that in your hands. Um, so please satisfy these people's wishes. Okay, um, I'm going to stop the recording now, so wave bye-bye to the internet.